excited. We've been all waiting for this moment and those are the visuals we're talking about. Safe to say, Anand, that the journey back home has begun. Yes, they're all on board. Yuzvendra Chahal sharing pictures, Rohit Sharma sharing pictures and they're all sharing pictures with uh, the cup uh, right there. And it's a, it's a special moment. Imagine this was a side that went undefeated right through the World Cup into the finals and someone like a Yuzvendra Chahal, someone like a Mohamed Siraj, someone like a Yashasvi Jaiswal and Sanju Samson were there in the reserves. They never got even a game. Mm. But they are part of uh, history. They are uh, part of something very special. Uh, to the right of the screens are players boarding the flight. To the left are pitchers from in-flight as they are getting ready to take off. Surya Kumar Yadav along with Rohit Sharma with the cup in their hands. And uh, they are all sharing these pictures. Uh, and you can clearly see the happiness and the joy. And, and what's interesting is that when we would, we should try and connect with Vimal Kumar if we can because he should also be on the same flight because the Indian media contingent is also uh, coming, traveling with them. Interestingly, uh, another part is uh, unless the flight is already taken off because these are pictures just from a short while ago. Uh, interestingly, the entire contingent, including the selectors, including the BCCI officials and the players and the support staff, all celebrated the victory together. So there are no camps. Everybody is in it together. Everybody is trying to work and help each other out. And that kind of camaraderie is something which is very, very unusual in the Indian team. Very unlike how things were in 2007 and in fact uh, in some of the other World Cup sojourns where there have been different camps and groups etc. But this time around such has been the leadership and the friendship. Rahul Dravid himself saying that Rohit has become such a good friend. Rohit Sharma's captaincy, his leadership, his inclusion of every team member uh, and his frankness and openness with each one of them, them following and sticking to the process. All of this has been hailed and spoken about so many times. Uh, it, it, could, it could have been third time unlucky. It's been third time lucky because we made it to the final of the World Test Championships. We lost there. We made it to the finals of the ODI World Cup undefeated. We lost there. And this was the T20 World Cup again into the finals. And it was all uh, but over by the 15th over. But it was the last five overs that it all changed for us. And that shows the grit and the commitment. But back ends, what is there? What thing, was everything all right outside on the sidelines? So much talk about uh, uh, you know things not going well well between Rohit Sharma and Hardik Pandya, given what happened in the IPL with the Mumbai, Cap uh, Mumbai Indians and the captaincy, etc. But uh, we have confirmation that both of them, uh, you know, shared a long chat together. They worked things out. And at the end of the day, when the victory happened, Hardik was all tears. Rohit was all tears. Rohit hugged him and lifted Hardik up and said, fantastic work. And it was Hardik Pandya who got us that breakthrough after that crunch over bowl by uh, Jaspreet Bumrah. And, uh, and and then the gates, the floodgates opened. And then uh, Bumrah caught Janssen and one by one. And then came that fantastic catch of David Miller by uh, uh, Surya Kumar Yadav. So moments of brilliance in the last five overs by each one of them. That made the difference. And uh, that joy, that happiness is evident for everybody. I, I, I'm again telling you that it's very rare that the entire media contingent would travel back with the same team along with the BCCI officials, even the chairman of selectors, Ajit Agarkar. They are all traveling together with this entire squad. Everybody is in it. See, uh, Yashasvi Jaiswal was seen flying the tricolor. He's a youngster. He's a future star for us. He's already proved himself on the big stage. Uh, he's already won matches for Bharat. He's played so beautifully. And he will have more World Cups to come. Four or three big players have made way for the next generation which is waiting in the ranks. We, we, this team didn't have a Shubman Gill. This team didn't have a Mohamed Siraj. Mohamed Siraj said the way Hardik bowled that final over, with the way Ashdeep bowled his overs. He said, I bowled in the World Cup, uh, ODI World Cup. I couldn't help. I couldn't contain the runs. I couldn't do what I wanted to. But I'm so glad our bowlers have. Look at the bowling unit. We've got so many in the reserves. Each one of them is a match winner on their own. A spinner like and uh, of the quality of Yuzhwendra Chahal didn't get a match, but he's coming back with a World Cup medal. That's imp that's amazing. You know, look, the the fact that a Sanju Samson didn't get a game shows the recovery levels of a Rishabh Pant, who's come back after a career-threatening, life-threatening accident and that knee injury, and he's come back to keep wickets and to also come in at number three and give uh, give us the explosive start and infusion of runs and run rate at the top and he's molded himself into that role. Look at Hardik Pandya. As an all-rounder, he's coming and bowling at 140 clicks, taking important wickets and also scoring runs. The first two or three matches that we won were thanks to Pandya's performance with the bat. And then he's also performed with the ball. He's redeemed himself after all the criticism. Every fan, everybody else was criticizing him. He was a subject of so much of social media 
ridicule uh, because of his uh, shift from Gujarat Titans into Mumbai Indians. They had a forgettable season, the Mumbai Indians, uh, with him at the helm. And it was all being attributed to him being brought in place of Rohit, etc., etc. And it was tough for him. And it all came through because he delivered. He allowed his performance to talk. And that could not have happened unless there was this entire uh, mood within the entire team that said, let's do it together, let's do it for the country, let's do it to win this World Cup. And I think that was the only message that Rohit Sharma had saying that we've got to win. We've got to win for the country. It's this jersey that says India that binds us all together. We do it for this country, for our country and let's give it all. Let's forget all our individual differences. Let's forget all our individual preferences. We've got to do what the team needs us to do. What is the requirement? That's why Virat Kohli comes opening with Rohit Sharma and, uh, and uh, Rishabh Pant comes in at number three. Uh, you know, Shivam Dubey uh, was floated up and down the order and they persisted with him without, despite many saying, why Shivam Dubey get Yashasvi in there? They didn't do all of that. They just said, let's stick to the process. Let's stick to each person's role and give each person the confidence that you may fail in one match, you may do well in another, but go ahead and express yourself. Go ahead and do it with full heart and gusto. It's just amazing. A, a former captain, a champion, a legend, a modern day legend like Virat Kohli. Look how he's been managed. Look how enthused he is. Uh, you know, this is not so easy. There have been cases, times in the past, where former captains in the teams have resulted in camps being created. Look at what Gary Kirsten had to say about the Pakistan team, saying everybody is playing for themselves, nobody is in cohesion, it's all a rundown team. Although Gary Kirsten thereafter said that, no, I never made these comments or these are not on record. But the fact is that's, a, that's on display to you. And this is a Team India that's working together, celebrating together. And nobody's saying, this is my cup, this is my cup. Everybody wants a bit of that cup because they have all their sweat, toil and blood has gone into it, uh, into, into this coming to fruition and, and for this cup to come back home. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so these are all emotions which are manifest in their celebrations. When they're putting out these pictures, they're putting out to share the joy, to share the fact that we're coming back home and let's hope they get a hero's welcome. And look, look what's happening. The India Eves are also doing so well. They are on a roll. They are phenomenal. An entirely new look team has just touched down in Zimbabwe to, for, to start another series. All in all, things are looking up. And uh, that's why everybody wants to savor this moment because cricket has its ups and it's got its downs. So we've gone through a few downs and disappointments. Now we want the ups. We want the celebration. Yes. And uh, everybody and, and wants you know, to develop it. From, from a place where we didn't see uh, the likes of Rohit Kohli, uh, the Rohit Sharma and Virat Kohli, I beg your pardon, you know, part of the T20 team uh, for good about 12-13 months to them being a part of the team and coming back home with the cup and how, you know, there have been splendid moments and all of these decisions most certainly have worked out for Team India. Thank you for giving us that detailed perspective. You were speaking of Vimal. Let's play out the special report filed by him when the champions departed for India. Obviously, it has not been easy for the Indian team which won the World Cup on Saturday and after that they had to wait nearly four days. And due to obviously we all know that the, the, because of hurricane, the, uh, the, the flight which the Indian team was supposed to take kept getting delayed, delayed, delayed. They, they had this special arrangement led by BCCI Secretary Jay Shah. Uh, he was he, he 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 for the for the last 72 hours. Jai Shah and his team, all the BCCI officials were right there just to ensure that the all the players with their families should go to India as early as possible. However, logistically it was not easy just to get the um, uh, aircraft in Barbados because we all know that for for a day the Barbados airport was shut, but now the airport has uh, opened. It is functioning. But at the same time, weather has not been great. So the charter flight, which was supposed to come early on Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon, it, 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 it came very late, so much so that uh, and now uh, it, it was supposed to leave on Tuesday afternoon, but it is now leaving on Wednesday early morning Barbados time. They are expected to reach 6 a.m. India time on Thursday. Earlier, it was supposed to be Indian team uh, was supposed to meet the Prime Minister uh, and uh, other uh, important dignitaries of the country. But it seems after such a hectic flight, it is unlikely that Indian team ha will have any arrangement on Thursday. So maybe they are likely to have a one day's rest uh, in Delhi, in uh, one of the five star hotels. And then most, most likely on Friday, they will have all this felicitation and meeting with the uh, Prime Minister and, and uh, other other uh, other dignitaries okay all right uh, the entire country